The purpose of this video is to show you how to set up Mimble's purchasing system. This video includes two sections, an overview of the procurement process and a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up and use Limble's purchasing system. Most Limble users are seasoned maintenance pros, but we understand that some of you may not be familiar with the purchasing process. We'd therefore like to walk you through a typical procurement cycle to help you understand how it works. Keep in mind that each company is different and some may not require that all of these steps are followed. In this example, let's say you have a plumbing issue in your employee break room. The challenge is that it can only be serviced by a licensed plumber. Fortunately, you have a specific vendor you work with, so you contact the vendor to get a quote for their service. And the vendor responds with a quote. A quote is a document that the vendor provides. It's a promise that they will provide you with a specified service or materials for the price shown. After you get the quote, you may need to submit a purchase request to someone else within your company to get approval for the expense. This happens most frequently if you don't have permission to create a purchase order. If you do have permission to create a purchase order, also known as a PO, you can do that and submit the PO for approval. If you're not familiar with POs, they're a formal agreement between you and your vendor telling them exactly what you need and that you agree to pay them the amount listed on the PO. Now the PO goes through an approval process and once the PO is approved, it moves into a ready to receive stage and you can send it to your vendor. Your vendor gets the PO, they send a plumber, and they complete the needed repairs. After that, many vendors will send an invoice for the service they performed or items they sent. When you get the invoice, it's common practice to create a bill for that invoice, also known as a receipt or purchase receipt. Bills help you keep track of who's been paid and who still needs to be paid. At this point, you pay the vendor, and once the vendor is paid, the PO is closed, and the purchase process has been completed. Now that you have an understanding of the procurement process, let's show you how to set up and use Limble's purchasing system. The first step to setting up the purchasing system is to determine who will be allowed to submit purchase requests and who will be allowed to create purchase orders. In Limble, this is accomplished in the Roles tab under Advanced Settings. By default, Limble allows the technician and manager roles to create POs. As an example, let's say that you want technicians to be able to submit purchase requests, but not create purchase orders. In that case, you would uncheck the Start a PO permission. The reason for this distinction is because in Limble, purchase requests differ from purchase orders in three primary ways. First, Purchase requests only require basic information, such as vendor name, part or service needed, and the reason for the request, whereas purchase orders require much more detail. Additionally, purchase requests have a mandatory approval process. And finally, once a purchase request is approved, it automatically becomes a purchase order. Now let's move to the next step, which is to create budgets and approval stages so you can start making purchase requests. In Limbol, each time you create a purchase order or purchase request, it needs to be assigned to a budget, and each budget can have its own approval workflow. Let's create a budget together. First, navigate to the Budgets tab in the left navigation pane. Select Add a Budget and give it a name. In the Budget view, we can create the workflow for POs and bills. The first thing listed in the Budget screen is PO Setup. The PO setup stage is where someone adds the line items to a PO. If you don't require that the PO goes through an approval process, you can skip this section and focus on the ready to receive section. If you do require approvals, then you need to select add step. In our example, let's say that the manager needs to approve every PO. We'll call this step manager approval and then we'll need to assign the POs from this stage to Anna, since she is the manager of this department. This means that after PO is finalized, it will be sent to Anna for approval. Anna will receive a notification when this happens. If you need to add multiple levels of approval, you can add those by selecting Add Another Step. 
Once a PO has received all of its approvals, it will be moved to the ready to receive stage, which is normally when the PO is sent to a vendor. Ready to receive means that you're waiting for the parts to be shipped or the service to be performed. If you have a person in charge of receiving shipments, you may want to assign this stage to them. In this example, let's say that Dan is our receiving manager. After an item is received or a service has been performed, it's time to review the invoice from the vendor and start the payment process. Limbo will automatically create a bill at this stage. The bill should go to the person at your company who's in charge of making payments. It may be the person who originally created the PO, or in our example, we'll assign it to the accounts payable person, Robin. Now you've set up the entire workflow for your purchasing system. Also notice that there are some settings at the bottom where you can make this budget the default for certain activities. Your budget is now set up, which means you're ready to start using the purchasing system. Let's run through an example of using the purchasing system from start to finish. In our example, we'll start with a purchase request. If your company does not use purchase requests, you'll be able to start at the purchase order stage. Limbo's purchasing system uses purchase requests as a simplified way for users to request the purchase of goods or services. Let's say that the plumbing issue in the employee break room involves a broken faucet. You check a parts inventory and you realize you don't have any faucets on hand, so you'll need your vendor to supply one. You can submit a purchase request directly from the task you're working on by clicking on the Request Purchase button. You're purchasing a part, so you select Yes under Do you need to request parts? Next, you select the part you need. And now, you select Yes under Do you need to request a service? Because you need your vendor to replace the faucet. You fill in the information, and then you give a reason for creating the purchase request. You can even attach a quote from your vendor if you already have that. Once you're done, you can see that the part you requested and the purchase request have been added to the task. The next stage in the process is approving the purchase request. Here, we'll show you how to do that. Similar to tasks, designated individuals can receive a notification when a purchase request is created. Clicking on the notification will take you to this approval screen. Here, you can see a purchase request that a team member submitted with the status of Setup Requested. When you open the purchase request, you can see important information at the top, like who submitted it, the reason for the request, and the associated task. You have the option to approve or disapprove the request. For example, you may have to disapprove the request because you don't have room in this month's budget. But let's say that in this case, you can approve the request. Before doing so, you make edits to the request, such as adding the correct vendor and completing any blank fields. When you're done making updates, you're ready to approve the request. To do that, click on Start Next Step, Manage Your Approval. This will move the purchase request to the approval stage you created when setting up the budget. Once all the approvals are made, the purchase request automatically becomes a PO and it gets sent to the vendor. If you'd like to skip the purchase request stage and just create a purchase order, you can do that from within the task or from the POs tab in Limbo. Let's show you how to do that. In the task, you can click on Start PO, or you can click on Add a Purchase Order from the POs tab. Notice how the PO looks identical to the purchase request. That's because purchase requests and POs are the same document. As mentioned earlier in this video, the approval process only applies to purchase requests, so you won't see approval buttons appearing on your PO. After you create your PO, you select your vendor. Since your PO is the official purchasing contract between you and your vendor, this step is required. Once you pick your vendor, you then verify which budget you're going to use. By default, Limbo assigns the PO to whoever is creating it, but you can change the assignment by clicking on your name and selecting someone else. 
After completing the first section of the PO, you can now start adding details. Initially, the PO's detail section only displays the purchase order date and the expected delivery date. However, you can add custom fields to your PO. In this example, you know you have a special payment term with your vendor and you want that information to display on your PO. You can add a custom field to your PO by clicking on New Field, giving it a title, and then linking it to the Payment Terms field associated with your vendor. If you have other information you'd like to display, just add more custom fields. Once you're finished updating the PO Details section, you're ready to start adding items. The first step is to click on the Add Item button. In the pop-up card, you'll be prompted to select Part, Service, or Other. Since you're replacing a faucet, select Part, and then select the faucet from your parts list. Once you've added your first item to the PO, you can add more items, or you can jump to the next section which is adding notes to the vendor and adding a bill to and ship to address. If you want to add a default bill to or ship to address that will appear on this and all future POs, you can do that by hovering over the field and clicking on the gear icon that appears. You can even add comments to a PO just like you can with a task. Now that you're done creating your PO, you can now move it through the approval stages you created. Once the PO reaches the ready to receive stage, Limble generates a PDF file of the PO and gives you the option to email it directly to your vendor. The next stage of the purchasing process is receiving items from your vendor. Keep in mind that receiving items is a broad phrase and it can include receiving parts, receiving a service, or receiving a non-inventory item. When you receive items, open the associated PO in Limble and then click on the green Receive Items button. In the pop-up card, Limble will automatically list every item on your PO. By default, Limble assumes that you've received every item you ordered. If you have received every item you ordered, you can just click on Submit and the PO moves into a fully received payment pending status. At the same time, Limbo automatically creates a bill for the received items. Now, if you've received some of the items on your PO, but not all of the items, you can manually change the quantity of the items you received and then click on Submit. This leaves the PO open and it changes the PO status to partially received. When you finally do receive all the items on your PO, the PO status will automatically change from partially received to fully received pending payment, which means you're ready to move on to the next phase of the purchasing process, which is managing your bills and invoices. Limbo creates bills each time you receive items on a PO. Here, we'll show you how to manage your bills and invoices so you can quickly see which of your vendors have been paid and who still needs to be paid. To manage your bills in Limbo, go to the Bills tab in the left navigation column. In this screen, you'll see helpful information related to the bill. Here, you can see that one of the POs has multiple bills associated with it. This happens when you have a partially fulfilled PO. Limbo creates a bill each time you receive items. That's why you can have multiple bills associated with one PO. Now, let's say that you've paid your vendors and you need to change the status from received pending payment to paid. To do that, open the bill, scroll to the bottom, and select mark as paid at the bottom of the bill. This changes the status of the bill to paid and the corresponding PO is automatically closed.
Now you've learned how to manage the entire purchasing cycle in Limble. However, one question we haven't addressed is how do you update your parts inventory once you've received items through Limble's purchasing system? The answer is, you don't have to do anything. Since the purchasing system is fully integrated into Limble, each time you order parts, your inventory is automatically updated whenever you receive items on your PO. Let's say you've ordered three faucets and you're waiting for them to be delivered. Once they arrive, you can open the PO and receive the items. This will automatically update the part quantity in your inventory. Additionally, Limbo automatically keeps track of which vendors have supplied the part and the prices you've paid over time. If you click on this arrow next to the price of your part, you'll see that you've paid different prices at different times for the same part. The history of price changes will be reflected here, and this price at the top is an average of all the different prices you've paid for that part. Another thing Limble does automatically is track who you purchased your parts from, and it associates your parts with the correct vendors. Another question we'd like to address is if it's possible to order from multiple vendors on a single PO. The short answer is no. Not only would that go against accounting best practices, but the PO is also a formal contract between you and your vendor. Because this is a purchasing contract between you and your vendor, you can only have one vendor per PO. This concludes the tutorial on Limbo's purchasing system. Thank you for watching. If you'd like more information about Limbo's purchasing system, feel free to reach out to us. We're here to help you reach your purchasing and maintenance goals.